What is going on guys? Andrew here, back with another episode of Car Mechanics Simulator 2021. And, well guess what? There's a vehicle missing here. Hmm. Remember that nice beautiful BMW M1 Pro Car that used to sit here? Well, we finally finished it. I wasn't able to do a um, video for it because uh, my camera, well, it kind of fell off the lift here and, well, <laughs> it didn't really work out so well. But anyway, I do have it. It is outside the shop right now. Ain't that a beaut? <whistles> Ain't she purdy? Hmm, look at that, eh? Let's pop the hood and take a look at this bad boy. Oh, look at that. That was gorgeous. Now, eventually, I do plan on taking all these upper control arm, lower control arm, um, the rear steering or the rear knuckles, the the front upper and lower control arms. And I'm planning, and the calipers, I'm planning on actually painting them to match the motor. But for the time being, I had to clear away out of the shop because a customer went and dropped off, oh yeah, a TBX, which is a GTO. And now, as you saw in my previous video, I showed a video of this asking for your input on what we should do with it because the customer dropped it off and said we could do whatever we want with it. Now, the same customer dropped that off also dropped this off this was his dad's back in high school and he kind of wants it a little bit more vamped up than what it is uh, he wants bigger wheels on it he wants a bigger motor um, kind of a funky paint job to it and but he doesn't really want the rest of it all painted up however this one whoo we're gonna have fun with this one so let's get started by bringing this one to the car wash get her all shined up well the best we can anyway in the con current condition do the interior and we'll do the body now let's check and see if I got the wheels for it already yes I do right here these are the ones that we're going to be choosing to go on to this one right here uh, once we get the body painted then we're planning on bringing it to back to the shop and then we're going to bring the wheels and everything else over well the wheels over and we're going to get them painted as well i want them to color match to whatever the body is so let's start off by well the second factor is bringing it to the second car lift huh, look at that it's already up in the air cool all right now we're going to strip the body panels off of it so the front bumper the side mirror or window wow mirror yeah. the rear tail light does this thing got a bumper on it? No, it does not. The other real bleh, can't speak tonight. I have a spoking issue. And we'll do the door, the front fender. All right, I think that's pretty much about it. We'll bring the welder over. No. Nope. And here's our truck we picked up. I've had this one for a minute. It's been in my parking garage there, my storage area. But uh, we are going to be working on this one too. And I would also like your input on this one. On what we should do with it. I'm thinking big wheels. Uh, well maybe not big wheels. But wide wheels on the rear. Skinny wheels on the front. Big supercharged motor. You know, and we'll do a kind of like a custom paint job on it. I think it will look real good when we're done. Now. Let's buy the pieces. To do this motor. Because he says he wants a big motor now the only thing we can really do for it to make it a really big motor is do we really want to put a Hemi and a Pontiac no um, do we really want to put a Ford motor in here no so the only thing I can figure is the other option of a Ford engine is the V8 2 car OHV supercharged that one itself will look, make this car look real spectacular so let's get started on it we'll hop back over here and we'll go over to the motor, the engine section, and we're going to cruise through here, see what we need. Oh, we need this. We need the scoop. We need the cam gear. OHV. We don't need this camshaft, because this is a junky camshaft. We're putting a high-performance one in it. We're going to make this motor run. Uh, let's see, anything in this section? Nope. Ah, uh, yes, we need a crank a shaft. Right there. Oh, wait, ha, almost forgot. We need the crankshaft, bearing caps. We need three of them. Now we need the pulley, right there. And now we need to find the block. Last one in line, right there, V8 OHV. And let's see, do we need anything in the heads? Nope, we're going to go performance. However, we do need the valve covers. So 
So we go right here. And next page right here. Beautiful. I've already bought in the fuel tank. I know that one for a fact. So we'll keep a cruising. Keep a cruising. Oh, we need no filter. The black one. Oil filter V8 OHB. And we'll keep a cruising. We need the oil pan, which is right up over here. Went right past it. We need... Oh, we don't need that. We're not building a Porsche right now. Uh, we need eight piston rings. Yes. Uh, we need this radiator seat. And we also need the V8 OHV fan. We need 16 rockers. Perfect. We need eight rod caps. That way it keeps the pistons in the motor. Keeps from causing a bunch of problems. Do we need this? No. Well, we do need it, but we're not getting this one. Once again, we're going to go performance. Make it really sing. Help boost it up a little bit. We need both belts. Serpentine A, M, B, V8, OHV. And then as we're going, we need this big belt right here. The Supercharger Serpentine Belt V8, OHV. Oh yeah, we're going to make this thing really, really move down the track. Maybe when we're done, if we got enough time, maybe we'll take it to the drag strip. See what we can do with it. Uh, we need the timing cover, which is V8, OHV. Uh, let's see what else uh, we need the push rods 16 of these to match the rockers oh, not 17 16 and we also need a water pump and I forgot factor back here since we're gonna do it right now since I remember we also need the supercharger water pump pulley now the reason why that one is different is if you look at the width of this one it's a little bit wider to match up for the two belts that have to go on it instead of the single one back here which is half the width because it's only meant for one belt to go on it so and we're gonna do the release bearing the drive shaft now we're gonna go performance <laughs> all right we need an alternator camshaft where is it anybody sees the camshaft there it is excuse me there and let's see we need two cobs and we don't need an ECU in this one, it's too old. We need two heads. 9% increase. Wow. That's a good that's a good chunk of power right there. We also need the exhaust headers. Right there. 0.8% each. We need a well, yeah, fuel filter. We need the fuel pump. We also need ignition coil B, distributor A distributor cap and we also need the wires too which are right here so I can actually get it to sit on it and we'll keep a cruising don't need nothing else from here we also need eight pistons piston and we're gonna use these air filters for it right there crank it up each one 5.5 percent increase in power which is a equivalent of 11 percent increase spark plugs we need eight of these uh, we need steering pump uh, I believe that's it for there perfect and now what I want to I uh, will worry about that later so let's get let's get cracking on building this motor guess I gotta go here to create an engine and we'll scroll down till we find the one that we are looking for which is right here Baseline for it is 380 horsepower. Let's see if we can crank out a lot more, shall we? Uh, last motor I built, and flip it over. It. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, looks good, don't it? I think it does, and it's gonna look good when it's done. Now I'm just debating whether or not I actually want to do the scoop or the hat, as we call it. I don't know if I want to do that the body color or if we want to do it just leave it the chrome I'm a little bit unsure of that yet we'll see all right number full well five ten twenty thirty hundred perfect look at that we're all done <laughs> Click the button, it didn't do nothing. Hmm. Oop. Back up there. Don't need to get the torque wrench in the head. Not like when I was younger when I got a wheel wrench in the head.
All right, you know the routine though too. Once we're done with the rod caps, we put the oil pan on, then we put the clutch assembly on, the flywheel, the clutch plate, the pressure plate, and then the throw out bearing. Beautiful. And that's even the plate that's on the back of the M1 Pro car there. It says be beautiful. What? Oh my god, I never bought it. Oh no. Thank god my FedEx guy drops the stuff off right away. Uh, I kind of skipped the step there. Perfect, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's beautiful. Now we put the motor back over. Oh, that don't sound right. Can I get a new engine? Can I get a new engine stand, please? Look at that. Look, would you just look at that? Uh-oh. I forgot something. The camshaft. And yeah, since we're here, we have to sort of distribute in. I did buy everything right? No, I did not. Oh, look at that. I'm heavily forgetting stuff tonight. That's not good. Well, if we don't make it to the drag trip tonight, we will make it. And I believe I also forgot the clip bees. Yeah. See? Wouldn't be me if I didn't forget stuff, right? There we go. We'll get two of them. There's just delivery driver must delivery driver must just be irritated with me. Have to make a hundred stops here in a day. Why can't you just order it in one shot? All right, let's get these push rods in so we can put the rockers in, valve cover, plugs, and the header. Is everyone having a good day today? Is everyone having a well, whatever time it is, if it's evening, morning, nighttime. Hope you all are having a good day. Today's been pretty peaceful for me. A little stressed out in the shop here, but you know, that's life, ain't it? And once we're done building the motor, we'll go strip that car. Get her all painted up by the suspension components. So I don't think I've purchased them yet. I might have, but I doubt it. Those ones are easy. It's, it's a leaf spring car, so they're pretty straightforward pieces. But sometimes I have an issue with the front cross member and the steering knuckles in the front there. Sometimes I don't remember what they are, so you know I gotta check it out before I start just dropping cash and. Yeah, I'm notorious at doing that. I remember the first car I built here, I was throwing the parts cannon at it. Excuse me here for a moment, folks. I'm gonna get a drink. back. Nothing like a Tim Hortons coffee, I tell you. Maybe it's a Canadian thing, I don't know. I'm from Canada. I live in northwestern Ontario. Weather's been a little screwy, you know. It'd be nice if they actually put Chevy half tons in this. You know? I got the Ford, we got all the Ford trucks and stuff, but nice to actually put some C1500s in here. You know, some OBSs, you know, some C10s. I think that'd be awesome. Because then I would build my truck that I have in IRL. Now the customer, 
the customer's dad did or did not have a decal package on this car when he owned it. But the owner that purchased it from him left it in his yard. Some other random person bought it, and then uh, they ended up putting a decal package on it and tried to turn it into a race car. Well, you, <laughs> you see how that one worked out, don't you? You can see right from well, you can't. You got that beautiful Ford half ton right there, the F100. All right, put the alternator on. I put the Uber charger intake, which I do not have. Told you. I forget my head half the time if it wasn't attached. What? Well, uh, there it is. Duh. Uh, yeah, I think I got everything else. I think, I think, I think I got it all. Oh, nice and shiny. Now we'll put the front end of the motor, or the front side of the motor together. And we should be good. For this time around, anyway. But that bolt cape aka the 65 Impala um, that car only comes with one motor so I'm thinking maybe we'll put some big big fat meats on the back of it put some same as similar to this we'll put some skinny well actually this car's not getting skinny to put on it it's actually getting pretty even tires figuratively speaking but um, I'm thinking some skinnies we're gonna make it into almost like a dragster but not really uh, I think it's going to look good when it's done. In my opinion, we'll have to wait and see. Everybody's opinions vary and differ. Also too, I see the majority of you that are watching the videos here aren't subscribed. Please subscribe to the channel. Help it grow. Do wonders for all of us. Alright, I think this is built now. Yeah, yeah it is. Look at that. Shiny new. Okay, now let's put this bad boy up in the air. We don't need that here anymore. Let's bring this over. Perfect. I guess we gotta take shoes off first. I'll take the small bushings out. You know, wh when they come out. Uh oh. Have to cheat a little bit here. OHVB. Okay. Cross member E, and if I had to guess, I would say these are probably C. OHV. Well, B. Right there. Perfect. Now we've got to look for the middle exhaust right here and then the rear OHV which is right here rear muffler OHV it's so pretty when it's when it's when it's all chrome oh looks good yeah I'm gonna line up here Huh. All right. All right, we're going to do the front one this time. I don't know why. We're going to do the U-bolts. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say the steering knuckles are probably going to be C. If I had to guess. But we'll wait and see. And we'll check it out when we get up there. Yeah, so I do have a jack under the rear, rear end. You just can't see it. But I do have a jack under there. Oop. Got the wheel cylinder. Perfect. Now we go to the front. 
Now I've already had this wheel off to just to measure and double check what sizes and stuff I needed. But I haven't assembled the wheels because I gotta paint them to match the car. Which I'm not really sure what color we're gonna go. All I know is he said he wants it a flashy color, but he doesn't want it. Yeah. He doesn't want the rest of the parts done, you know, because you can always do the bodywork back to uh, back to the factory again for not as much versus having to rebuy and repurchase all the individual pieces, which I can understand. But at the same time, he wants to have fun with it. He wants to race it, you know. I think he wants to show his dad what. Uh, what the potential of this car could have been if his dad wanted to because it's still got the original worn out single carb engine in it so yeah, it is what it is it's in our hands now it's our responsibility for the moment it's our job to make sure that he's happy with it in the end it's probably going to be a hundred thousand dollar build He already gave me 50 grand cash to start the build. I just gotta figure out where all my. There it is. And. Well, it should be enough to actually build the car, but, you know, you gotta incorporate labor and time, and, you know, time ain't cheap, that's for sure. So. But the quality is second to none, you know. Oh, the steering rack, the sway bar, the the last rubber bushing, and we're just gonna let the motor hang in midair. Yeah, that's not bad. One stuck bolt. Actually, come to think about it, I haven't had too many of them. Wheel hub. And we need to play yank him with the motor to get it out, which it shouldn't be too bad. Now, what kind of seats do you know? I think he said he wants the interior to be all original. What am I doing? Are you... Yes, I just did that. There we go. Pull the motor. The motor? Hello, there we go. I think I'm starting to have an aneurysm or something. Alright, now we're going to put this on rollers and roll it over to the paint shop. And here we are. So, first things first, let's purchase the interior for this car. TBX. There's the rear bench. Because like I said, you know, the paint work is one thing. Because you can always put it back to the way it was. And we got to get the seats. And I think he said he wanted a wood green steering wheel put in it. Right here, steering wheel number three. Beautiful. So, let's t start by taking out the rear bench. And we'll put the rear bench in, a new one. The passenger seat, driver's seat, and the steering wheel. Perfect, look at that. Alright, we're done with that. Now we're going to purchase the body panels. I'm going to go here. Because we need this hood. This headlight. This headlight. And you know what? We're going to put chrome mirrors on it. Because we're going to do something special with the paint, I'm thinking. And then we got to finish the rest of it. Uh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. I believe. Oh, wrong one. This is a chrome front bumper. Gotta have chrome, man. The rear bumper, well. 
No, nope, we don't need that. Ah, I just went and bought that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. All right, time to install. Perfect. Oh, I did buy the hood too. I couldn't remember if I bought it or not. Yeah, see, a nice chrome bumper. You know what, just to make a match, I think we're going to paint the rear bumper this a chrome too. Ah, son of a gun. No, I don't want the door open. I want this off. I want to put this on. Perfect. Oh well. I'll have to close the door before we start painting. I want to get any overspray inside the car. Alright. Tail lights. And then I'm going to keep the bumper off. Because I'm painting that chrome. Let's see. Let's take a little walk around. Make sure we haven't forgotten nothing. Perfect. All right. Now let's take a little gander and a peek. See here. We're gonna go roughness all the way. Now uh, we're gonna keep metal in this right where it is for the moment. And we're gonna slide this way over here. Oh, I think that looks good really make it pop. Turn the brightness down just a bit. Br oh, wait, no, keep that up, bring this back. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And we'll go back over to here and we'll see. Yeah, not really a fan of all that kind of stuff. Let's, let's just push this over. Nope, 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 wrong way, wrong way. We're gonna keep that there. I'm thinking that right there. Ooh, that is beautiful. Don't you all think? Whoo! That is gorgeous. In my opinion, anyway. Like I said, my opinion is one opinion. And once we get the car all together, I'm going to take a picture of it. Now, let's see. Now, we don't need that junky bumper. I'm going to go with this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Purdy. This bumper is more of a skid plate than an actual bumper. Look at that. Matching. <laughs> Perfect. No, we don't need to go here. We need to move you back to here. So, I gotta run back over to the paint shop. I should get the wheels walls in here. But we're gonna sell all the old parts that we have, which is gonna help. Number E and C. Perfect. I'm gonna go back in here. Run, 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 run. All the way over here. Oh, look at that. Only four pages. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I might do the, uh, the, the bolt, uh, cape. I might do it same color, same color that would only have, he has a matching pair. Maybe. We'll see. Now, I don't, well, guessing. Now, what we can do is we can go through here, start buying everything we need to put this car together. We need the shock absorber caps, the springs, two C knuckles. Sway bar B, cross member E, 
front wheel hub, inner tie rods, leaf springs, leaf spring plates, four U-bolts, and a partridge in a pear tree. The axle, we need knuckle B, because it has disc or because it has drum brakes, it doesn't have discs. We need shock absorber B because it is a leaf spring or coil spring car. Sway bar link B because it has a uh, coil over suspension. We need that. We need two of these. Uh, let's see how many bushings. Two, four, six, eight, twelve of these ones. We need four of these ones. Uh, we need two of these, two of these. Wheel hub four because it's a drum brake car. We need two of these. Go over to here. We need two of these, two of these. Uh, two of those, two of these, one of these, two of those, and two of those. Uh, you know what, since we're in here, I don't think about the gearbox earlier. So let's get her right now while we're thinking of it. Um, we're going here, I already bought a battery earlier. Now I remember seeing it was this one. Uh, I think that's pretty much about it. Now we can start assembling stuff. Well, the side door this time, the man door. So the big bay door, like that one. And remember, we always we always put the front tires together first. 235, 2025s. All right, perfect. Do the other one. And I don't know why, but for some reason, the customer wanted slicks. Don't ask me why, because like I said, I don't have a reason why. I personally would have used a different wheel, but or a different tire, but the customer wants what the customer wants. So that's what we're going to do. Perfect. Almost done with this, and we can start putting everything together. I believe that's it. Yep. Is that it? Yes, it is. Take this, since this is kind of important. So we're going to raise this all the way to the moon, about as high up as we can. I think with the chrome, with the chrome trim around the wheel wells and the chrome bumper and, and the mirrors, I think it looks pretty darn sharp. Start by putting the exhaust on. Now we'll do the middle mufflers. And once the middles are on, we can do the rear, and then we can put the fuel tank in, and we can start building up the rear end. You know what? Uh, I really want to do, but I won't. I'll leave it. again perfect now do the knuckle the backing plate the wheel cylinder put the shoes on and put the axle in yay then the drum and then the wheel two fifty five twenty twenty five and let's back off for a minute let's take a look at it Oh yeah, that's something different, that's for sure. I kind of actually like it. Um, do the same on this side, the leaf spring. The plate. Two U-bolts. Oh 
I'm thinking maybe well yeah perfect This is what a sixty nine, I think. I think, I think, I think. Yep, sixty nine GTO or TBX in the game. Like I said, these suspensions are some of the easiest to put together. Versus like, for instance, a front wheel drive, all wheel drive car. Those are a little bit more tedious. Okay, now we put the last bushing in. For the cross member anyway. And we start putting by the steering knuckle. And then I purchased yeah, I got all that stuff. Okay, perfect. Oh, it looks so pretty. All new. And I'm also thinking too, I'm going to bring up my uh, M3 track pack edition one of these days here. We're going to do a day of track racing. Can't really do much with other opponents, but still go for a good lap, good time. Of course I wouldn't have no rollers. Now, these are the ones he's requested. Nothing too fancy, look almost factory. Like I said, he didn't want suspension all messed up or nothing like that. Why did I buy four of them? Or maybe I already had two. Hmm. Hey, you. Get over there. Oh, uh, thank you. We put the upper in. If we can click on it. And then we do the lower. The shock, the sway bar link, and we can start putting the brake assembly on. Well, starting with the backing plate, the dust cover, or dust shield, I should say, the center cap, the pads, and the caliper and cylinder. I put the wheel on. And just so everyone knows, these are 25 inch wheels. They are not little wheels, they are big ones. You know what, we're going to tint the windows too. It's got to have tinted windows. Just to make it just that little bit extra, you know what I mean? Go dark for the majority of them and then the windshield will lighten it up just a bit so when he wants to drive it, he can see it and it's not going to cause too many problems with the law enforcement. Who does not look fancy. Put the rod in. Do the fuse box next. Put the relays and the fuses in. Three of these big bad boys. 1B, 1C. Whoa, a little confused there. Perfect. Awesome. Power steering pump. Or rep. Don't have one of them. Gotta buy one of them. Feel a little ridiculous. You know, this part of the building, we're still needing parts. There it is. 
all the new parts that came into the catalog here. It's a little hard to keep track of all the inventory. I got one of them. I had one of those. I might have used it on my uh, M1. Oops. Normally don't put the battery until after the motor's in the car, but you know. Alright, now we go get the motor. We're gonna strap it to our back. We're gonna flip the picker or the stand around. Why do I do that? There we go. You can carry the motor by hand, but you can't put it in the car by yourself. Maybe the engine hoist. Whoo! Look at that. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Now we put the fluids in. And once all the fluids are in, then we put the dr transmission and drive shaft in. Go, 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 go. Thirsty. Perfect. Now we put the windshield washer, f oh wait, power steering fluid next. And this if I could actually see the level on it, eh? That should be enough. It's overfilled, but that's okay because it's got to run through the system, so. Perfect. Oil. Got to put the oil in. Effect. Now we gotta put brake fluid in. Look at that. It's so purdy. Now we put well, we're going to have to go all the way from one end of the car to the other. Look at that. Nice little racing tranny. Whoo! So fancy. Fancy, fancy, dancy. Perfect. Let's bring it over, get an alignment. Remember how I said we're going to do a picture of it? Look at that, ain't that beautiful? Awesome. Look at that, that's beautiful, ain't it? the headlights so when you shine it on the road you can actually see where you're going and you don't blind anybody look at that almost perfect all right i'm dying to know what does it sound like that sounds all right let's put it on the dyno Any bets on what it makes? I'm going to say 1,034 and we'll say 1,400 foot pounds.
Look at that. Bang on for the horsepower. And 16 off for the foot pounds of torque. I swear I've done these cars before. Alright, now we're going to move you to the front. Outside. And we're going to call the customer and he can come and pick it up. Uh, we're going to do one last photo of it. Yeah. You know, got to represent. You know. Got to represent Car Mechanic Simulator. I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, there it is. Nah, you know, we're, we're not going to worry about a picture this time around. I think I have to clean my camera lens or something. But, alright guys, that includes our video for this time. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will chit-chat with you and talk with you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye.